Gas prices going up. Gas tank size going down. So I didn't talk about this at all last year, but I actually kind of broke my finger whenever I was fishing on Lake Pickwick. I broke like, I literally like, I don't know if I broke it, but I hurt something in there and it still hurts. So I can't grab, but I couldn't undo the gas thing without it like really hurting. So I changed to my right hand. So my left hand finger for some reason still hurts. I like, broke that sucker last year. Had to fish a bunch of tournaments with it. Extremely sore, but I don't care. We still going to catch, try to our best to catch them no matter what. Are you baiting fishing with a life jacket on? I'm really scared of falling in. Really scared. I don't know if I could swim right there in that 8-inch deep water. Deep. So, I'm gonna let y'all in on a juicy little secret right here. Basically, in bass fishing, there's a metric to know how good the fishery is. The worse the boat ramp, the better you probably gonna catch them. As you can see right here, the boat ramp actually ends where the water begins. So there's no water at all on the boat ramp. That's why I got to fish in the 10 rig. You go to one of these lakes, one of these real well manicured lakes with the boat ramps that'll hold 8, 10, 12 boats, probably in for a tough day. Here, boat ramp ends at the water. We probably gonna catch them today. Gotta stop eating like this. It's fine to gain weight since the season's over. You gotta get back on the healthy track soon. So this is one of my favorite places in the world to fish. Really cool. <clears throat> Lots of current. Big fish. Big shell bass. Big largemouth. Big spots. Everything lives in here. For whatever reason, they get really, really big. There's even shell crackers in here. Sometimes I'll see them and sight fish for them like they're a dang bass. They're like pound and a half shell crackers, like big and so see if we can catch that. So I haven't been over here fishing in a while actually as far as this area of this river i have fished down on the lower end of this river you know but not right here it's crazy just how much all this stuff changes from year to year and all these sandbars and stuff they get washed up because whenever it floods in the spring all that muddy water basically is just mud water that is filled with the dirt and then that dirt kind of you know gets pushed up and the current kind of pushes it up and everything kind of pushes up all these sandbars and really changes the way that this this place looks and fishes and that that's kind of what makes these places not be good some years and in some years it'll be really good you know if we don't have a lot of floods it'll the current will kind of carve out a really good river channel I mean, it seems to be a little bit better whenever it floods it gets a lot of sandbars and it seems to just not quite be as good so it's definitely changed a lot since last time i was up here so there's a shopping cart if anybody needs one There's a bass. No, that's a shell cracker. Look at that sucker. That's a freaking bluegill. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. There's like a seven pounder. He's right there. Look at him. Oh my God. I can't. He's too far away now. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's like a freaking seven pounder. Yeah. I mean, he had to be over six. I just got too close to him and spooked him. If I'd have been paying better attention and going slower, I'd have probably been able to catch that sucker. Because he was aggressive. Like, I, he seen my jig from like 20 feet away and he went to it. He went towards it, I should say. 
I'm talking about a big in. They wanted something moving a little bit faster. One little hook. One little hook. little old white bass right there white as in his colorations I've had one too many swipe at this thing and not really get it so I'm gonna have to put on a different different jerking bait cuz I ain't really getting this one that good this one did but this is a tiny one he probably would ate a hot dog if you threw it over there Show bass on my jig, dude. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, it's gone, too. Well, it was mostly grass, I guess, that had it gone. Look at that thing. Wicked crawl in the shoaly mouth. Look how good he was hooked, too. Mm. Beautiful little show bass. Probably about a two-pounder. Something like that, maybe a little bit less. They thick, man. A little spot. I know I talked about all the big everything that's in here. I ain't caught no biggins. But I've seen some biggins. I obviously did not bring the right tackle for them. I've thought of a couple baits I wish I would have brought, but didn't bring it. a little spot usually some real big ones right there Got him. Oh, he's a big one. I got two. I got two. I got two. I, he, I might have lost one, but I had two. Look at all of them. Oh, my God. Do you see them all behind him? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a strike. Yeah. Yeah. They're still all behind him. They're all right there. Pick that jig up and throw it right, th right in there behind my fish. Just got right there. I don't know, you tell me. They're all right here. I 
don't know they're they didn't lift because he got right here by the boat You got a good one too. <laughs> That's a bass. I know it's a bass. Oh. Big spot. I thought it was gonna be a strike, but then I seen it and it was like that. Just an old bass, huh? It's a nice one. Can we get him or you gonna swing him? I think I'm I think I need to ease up a little. Yeah, nice spot. Nice spot. I got me a hybrid. Let's see what you got. So I tried to catch a stripe like how, and then I picked up the jig, and I caught this one. Can you get him? I guess I'll grab it. This is what I caught. Time to get her a little spot bass. Another strap. <clears throat> That'd be fine if you just came off. There's a big one with him. Not really a big one, but. There was a good one with him. Look at him. He looks like a small mouth, but he got them vertical bars on him. Little Sholey. <laughs> 